Welcome back everybody to my channel, Chefish. Today we are making jafnun, a traditional Yemenite morning pastry that's enjoyed on Saturday mornings. Something from my childhood that I really, really enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Let's get started with the ingredients. I have 500 grams of all-purpose flour. I have 350 grams of water. I have 200 grams of butter. I have a pinch of nutmeg. 15 grams of sugar, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, 10 grams of salt, 10 grams of honey, and that's 25 grams of whole wheat flour. Let's get started with the dough. In a stand mixer, I'm gonna add my flour, my whole wheat flour, my salt, my baking powder, my sugar. I'm gonna add the honey and the nutmeg. And we're just using, not a lot, just a few pinches. I'm gonna start mixing it and then slowly add in the water. I'm just looking for a ball to form and then I'm going to let the ball lead for about three to five minutes. Then we're going to transfer it to an oiled ball. This dough does not have yeast, so it does not need to proof. We're just waiting for it to relax a bit so it's easier to work with once we're ready to use it. So give it about two hours to relax. After it's rested, we're going to divide it into eight equal pieces of about 100 to 110 grams each. We're going to roll them up into balls and we're going to place them on a greased cookie sheet. I'm just using this fancy dough container, but you really don't need to. What I'm doing is I'm just pulling it up, folding it and tucking it in. So pulling up the edges, folding it, tucking it in and rotating and just repeating that uh, until a ball forms. And then I'm putting together all those little edges and let them rest for about three to five hours. The longer they rest, uh, the easier it will be to work with them. Now, although this part might seem a bit complicated, it really is easy because the dough has had so much time to rest and it's so relaxed that it will make the stretching part really a breeze. Um, and as you can see, I'm just stretching it out as much as I can, buttering it, doing a tri-fold and then rolling it up. And we're just going to place it in our pan. We, you want them to really be up against each other in there because again, there's no yeast or anything, so it's not going to proof. So again, may seem complicated, but really easy. I'm just flattening the dough, grabbing the edges to stretch it as much as possible, buttering the surface, doing a tri-fold and buttering each fold, and then just rolling it up and placing it in our pot. And we're going to cover this uh, with a parchment paper and place seven eggs. You can put more or less, it's up to you. I'm just putting seven for whatever reason. And we're gonna cover it and bake it for about eight to 12 hours at 215 degrees. And it can stay in there up to 18 hours. It'll just get, you know, really dark. So this is after about 14 hours. As you can see, nice and brown, really, really delicious. We would eat this uh, with all different types of stuff growing up, but the original way to enjoy this is with the hard boiled egg, some crushed tomatoes, and skug, which is a spicy sauce. Thanks so much for checking out this video. The recipe and all the Facebook and Instagram stuff is in the description below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Okay, bye.